Guys, it's already been a week into lawn care and I didn't make a video yet, but this is the 2020 lawn care trailer setup. You walk in the side door here, you got a fire extinguisher I mounted. I put this shelf in, it's 100% custom built. I put these D hooks in, so I can strap stuff down. I actually have my leaf blower here. Just bungeed down. I made a little cubby back here for all the mix oils. Bungee thing of rags up there. Some bungees and pruners down there. Then I put a hook underneath here for just a pail. That's where just I put garbage that I collect when I'm out mowing. Underneath, I got my spare blades, gas cans, and some cleaning supplies. And then I do have the 2019 Toro Titan. 48 inch deck 2000 series I think it's got 38 hours yeah 38 hours on the Toro branded engine now, I know a lot of you guys hate these because you say they're Chinese made but if you look up the specs it has a lot more torque than any Kawasaki I think they're made by Lawson is the Chinese company if you want to look them up but I have my all my echo trimmers up there. I actually just got this one. That is the SRM 2620 powerhead. And I love it. It has like the most power. It's so lightweight. It's just I don't know why you'd get steel. Like echo is just top of the line. And then I have my original SRM 225. And then I got that SRM 266 because the 225 actually a coil went out on it out in the field. I didn't have the backup trimmer at the time. So I went out to Home Depot and bought this one. As you can see, I really don't do it that much. It's like straight up just my backup trimmer. But my go to is usually the ones on the top rack because they're easy to grab. This rack, I think it's a Nix face rack from Amazon. I think it's better than the equipment defender and those other brands people say it messes up the handles and stuff but what i did was it already has these nylon coated hooks and i just got this foam stuff 3m foam and i put it in there so it sits right on that foam and i did that for every one and then up here people complain they spin and stuff i've never had these spin ever they they're just they're in there solid I actually, you just pull this pin here. This tab will come down. It comes with this foam right here, but I added the foam in here to cradle it better. So if you guys do buy these racks, they're very good racks. They're very thick metal. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. They, they don't mar up the handles. They're just, they're real. They're real strong racks. I just, I, I don't know. I think it was like $100 or something for them. It's a lot cheaper than spending $200, $300 on those brand name racks. And I actually included a little spool rack holder too, which is, look, I'm shaking it and just the wall is moving. <laughs> oh yeah, that's the trailer. It is a 2020 Hallmark passport it's a six by ten i got it i think two months ago i know it was the winter time when i got it because i wanted to get it earlier to get it all set up but toro echo people know what i use and then right here I'll show you guys this. I got this actually off of another guy on YouTube. You see, I have this pin holding this crank. Check it out. The pin slides out. I'm supposed to do it with two hands, but obviously I can't hold my camera. I got a little coupling nut. And I drilled a hole right through it. Uh-oh, that's not good. 
Well, the whole jack shaft slid out, so I had to stop the film. It looked kind of silly, but I just made this last night. So basically, you put that coupling nut on that shaft. You pin it in, and then you can put any impact driver right on this. And use your impact to raise and lower the jack. The coupler nut was only like two dollars at Home Depot, and then all you needed was just a good drill bit, and I drilled right through it. See, there it goes falling again. It's the one downfall of it. You'd obviously leave it in. I actually have my Makita impact coming in today, but I don't have it yet, so that's why I'm leaving the crank on for now. But then the truck I currently have is a 2011 Ram 1500. It's really a base model. It's actually only two wheel drive, six cylinder. It's the four speed with overdrive, but it tows pretty good. It it isn't the greatest, but. I should be upgrading this year. So those roll down windows, which is nice. Sometimes you can get that perfect crack, if you know what I mean. <laughs> but and in the back, I just have some cones. I also have cones in the trailer, but these are the cones I just have in the bed of the truck, just in case if I'm doing a job that doesn't require the trailer. And then I have a box with ratchet strap, gloves, some tools. So there it is, the 2020 lawn care setup.